Hey everybody, my name's Quentin Huckabee. Hey, aren't you supposed to be behind the camera? Yes, normally I'm behind the camera, but they let me out every now and then to do small group teachings. And this week's small group teaching that has a predetermined title, but not a predetermined teaching is, how does hope in God help get you through the hard times? Well, does anyone know? Aren't you uh, supposed to tell us? Well, yes, but I, was seen if anyone would know the answer. I hope this is gonna be a good lesson. Look, I don't even understand how this is a question. The definition of hope is a feeling of expectation and a desire for a certain thing to happen. So hope in God is a feeling of expectation that God has it. You're not worried or anxious during the hard times. So how do you get hope in God? Well. Let's read scripture. So we're gonna start in Romans 5, 1. Therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ, our Lord, has done for us. Because of our faith, Christ has brought us into a place of undeserved privilege where we now stand. And we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. It all starts with Jesus. Without faith in Jesus, we have no peace. We all attempt to fix and control our situations that we have no control over. This is the anxiety that leads to depression. Let Jesus give you peace. Let's continue in Romans 5, 3. We can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials, for we know that they help us develop endurance. And endurance develops strength of character, and character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. And this hope will not lead to disappointment. We know how dearly God loves us, because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. Now, this is acting out our faith. When a problem comes, we can rejoice. At the beginning of verse 3, it says we can rejoice, not we feel like rejoicing. Rejoicing in trials builds up the faith muscle. The more we rely on God, the more it becomes second nature. So how do you rejoice in hard times? Well, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. A couple months ago, my family, we were just getting sick. We were getting sick a lot. So when I was sick, I had to stay home. When my wife was sick, I had to stay and watch the kids, make sure they weren't tearing anything up. But I was also the only one bringing home a paycheck. We were not making enough money to make any meat. But I had hope. I knew God was gonna take care of us. So I continued on with faith and believing in what God was going to do for our family. One day, as I went to work, I felt a voice say, you're going to get a lump sum of money. I held on to that and just continued my, my day being faithful to my work. Then that night, I got a text saying the friend of the family Venmoed me some money. N not only did this person had no idea what was going on, but they, they sent enough and more money to cover all the late fees and our rent, more than enough to cover what we were lacking. I did not work for it. I did not deserve it. God provided for all of our needs. Through the whole sickness, I felt really bad about calling in. I struggled with it. I don't like calling in. You know, it's my responsibility to, to work for your, your employer, but God kept on asking me who was my provider. And I chose God, because God is my provider. 
Now this is no excuse to call into work, but God did use this time to build our faith. First, you need Jesus. Then act out your faith. Grow that faith muscle and hope will grow. Do this in everything you do in your life. In the middle of our sickness, I even had panic attacks. My heart was racing, but I did not let it control me. This is the day. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. I repeated this verse. And this verse continued to give me comfort, no matter how I felt. If you're stressed because of your job, rejoice. If you're stressed because you've had a fight with your mother, this is the day. If you're stressed and going through hard times, rejoice in the Lord and he will give you hope through it. Just like Pastor Jared, has hope in God that this teaching went over well. And I have hope to the segue to our discussion questions. <laughs> Guys, enjoy these questions. Be vulnerable. Have faith. Love you. Bye-bye.